At Keio University, the Mitsukura Laboratory in the Department of System Design Engineering researches how to extract required information from biometric, image, and audio signal data. To achieve this, the researchers utilize technologies such as signal processing, machine learning, pattern recognition, artificial intelligence, and statistical processing. それから音声処理、それから生体信号処理とこの in image signal processing research, the Mitsukura lab works on position matching between real and virtual space, which is the basis for AR technology. These researchers are developing a method for estimating the orientation of a face at high speed with high precision to link the motion of an actual person with an animation. Another research topic at the Mitsukura lab is expression recognition, using information about changes in the eyebrows and corners of the mouth. The lab is also researching how to overlay virtual data used in head mouth displays in the real world. In audio signal processing research, we studied the ability to automatically determine which direction a sound is coming from by using multiple mic signals. The researchers are developing a system to automatically direct the mic toward the person talking in a video conference and a robot to track a talking person. The lab is also working to develop a system for inputting information by whistling. In research on biometric signal processing, the lab is developing a system to operate computers and devices by reading brain waves, EEG, and EOGs. In brainwave, EEG signal processing, the lab is doing a wide range of R&D. One research project is a system to determine the user's likes, dislikes, and convert them to text form. Another research project is to evaluate sound quality from brainwaves, EEG. Signal processing technology using EOGs obtained around the eyes is being utilized in R&D on steering a wheelchair by winking. Signal processing technology is expected to have a diverse range of applications, including healthcare, entertainment, and wearable devices. In the Mitsukura lab, the researchers are using the many algorithms they've developed so far to advance such R&D further in ways that can contribute to society. いうふうに言われてるんですけれどもそれって眼鏡をかけないといけないじゃないですかでそうするとなんかかけてること自体がなんか人間にとってまあ不自然であるということでまあ脳波も同じでえっと不自然なものってやっぱり あの、長続きしないので、不自然でなく自然でその脳波を取れるようなシステムっていうのをまず作るということと、それからそれに伴ってその感情通信みたいなのがお互いに例えば思った時に思ったことが電話できるというようなことができるんじゃないかなと思